Hello, fourth and fifth grade. Um, this week we are still continuing our Hispanic heritage art. Um, and so what I've done this week is I have done a sun on one side and a moon on one side. And on one side with the sun, obviously the sun projects warm colors. So that's red, orange, and yellow. And the moon makes us feel at night. We always have like um, calming colors. So that's like blue, purple. Um, I chose not to put green in here because it was in the sky. Um, and I didn't really think that green went in the sky. I thought green went more for the ground. So if you want to add green, that's okay because it is a cool color. Um, but I just didn't want it in my drawing. So I chose as my artist choice to leave it out and just do blue and purple, okay? So red, orange, and yellow on one side, blue, green, purple, green is optional, blue and purple on the other side, okay? So I'm gonna show you how I did this drawing. Um, you may find it easier to get like a cup um, and trace the bottom of the cup for the circle in the sun because if it's not uh, symmetrical, it's really not gonna look right. Um, so you might wanna go and find a cup and then again, uh, I have an exact straight line all the way down. So if you have a ruler or another piece of paper that might help you, um, you might wanna grab that. But those are just extras, you don't have to do that. Um, I'm gonna show you how I did this drawing. I'm not gonna show you how to color it because you are experts at coloring, um, but you do need to follow the warm on one side and cool on one side. And if you decide that you want your sun on the left side and the moon on the right side, like if you wanna flip them from what I've done, that's fine too, okay? So the reason that I chose straight lines um, and diagonal lines for the sun is because it's a very straight lined design for the sun. It uses diagonal lines which have hard edges to them. So I chose to repeat that in my stripes um, different ways over here. So that's why this is all very straight lined. Over here, I feel like the moon is a lot more um, relaxing than the sun. Um, it's nighttime, there's breezes. Um, and so that's why I chose to do wavy lines for this. And I like the way that the wavy lines look against the hard straight lines. Um, so that's kind of what we're gonna be working with today is the difference between cool colors and warm colors and the difference between organic lines and straight geometric lines, okay? So I'm gonna move this to the side. I'm gonna show you how I did my drawing and then you guys are gonna go ahead and do your drawing and color it. Um, I got a brand new whiteboard and this is what I will be using to teach on. So I'm gonna be drawing on my whiteboard with my whiteboard marker, but especially for this project, you're gonna want a paper and pencil because you might mess up and um, clearly we need some straight lines and some perfectly like straight lines down here. Um, so we do wanna have a pencil in case we mess up and it looks kind of silly. So the first thing that I did was this middle line all the way down the middle of my paper and for that I did use a ruler I don't wanna use a ruler with my marker, so I'm gonna use an old piece of paper. This'll work. I took my paper and I just made a straight line. Okay, so I have my straight line. And then I took my circle and put it in the middle. And you wanna make sure your circle is in the middle of your straight line because it's gonna be even um, sun and even moon. Okay, so make sure it's even and it's perfectly in the middle of your paper. Go ahead and trace that. Again, if you don't have these things to trace at home, that's fine, um, just do your best, okay? So we have this um, symbol ready to go, but if you notice, one thing that I have is the um, nose on the sun that doubles as the nose for the moon. So what I did was I just kind of erased like a tiny little line in the middle, maybe a little bit more, like that. And then I drew a nose, just like that. All right, and for the face, I did two straight lines, and then I did a curved line and a curved line. And then I just did a circle, and underneath, I'm sorry, inside the circle, I did uh, a warm color for the eye color. So I used like a brownish orange color, 
But then notice over here, since this is the cool color side, I used a blue for the eye, okay? So when you're choosing your color that goes inside, make sure you're choosing a warm color and a cool color, okay? Next, I did the lips, and I just used this line in the middle to help guide me. I went up, down, kind of like a hill. Same thing on the other side, up, down. All right, and then a smile, which is a curved line at the bottom and then one line in the middle to separate. Um, some drawings like this have cheeks, so if you want to add cheeks, like cheek circles to your sun and moon, you can do that. Um, I've seen a lot of this art have um, circles like that, okay? If you don't want cheeks, that's fine, just leave them out. All right, so for this side right here, this is gonna be my sun. And over here is going to be my moon. So what I'm going to do is first I'm going to, and this is important because it's going to look really funky if you don't do it this way. First, you need a diagonal line that goes all the way up to the top of the paper. So that means start a little bit right here and do a diagonal line all the way up to the top of your paper. Okay. Um, it looks silly if you start off on the side with a full triangle. So just make sure you do one all the way to the top, okay? Next, you can start where that point is. And if you wanna use a ruler to do this, you can use a ruler to do this. You're adding some diagonal lines until they make triangles. And if you, so now I'm at the part where I can make my last one go this way or I can make my last one go this way. I think I'm gonna make it go this way, like that. So now I have the spokes of the sun. Now, in between, my lines go different ways. So this way, my lines kind of go diagonally to the right. This way, my lines go diagonally down. So in between each of your sun spokes, go ahead and add diagonal lines, whichever way you want them to go. And like this one, so I did up and to the right. Now this one, I'll go down and to the right. So they're gonna be a different direction. It just adds more variety, adds more interest to our drawing. Okay. Um, and now for, so I've got two different lines. Now I, for this one, I added them this way. Like that. And then for the bottom, I added them diagonally this way, okay? So they should look something like that. Each one, each section should be going a different way. Then color it in with a pattern of warm colors. So this one I have red, orange, yellow. This one I just have orange and yellow. This one I have like a dark reddish orange and yellow. And then this one I did red and orange. So make sure you fill in all these lines with a pattern. I even rotated my colors for the sun uh, spokes, okay? So just make sure you're using all different types of warm colors that you can find, okay? Now, for the other side, for the moon, what I did was I started at the point where my moon and my uh, straight line here matched, and I made another, like, crescent shape, and then I did it again another crescent shape. So it looks like the moon is kind of growing out. And then this one was way easier than the sun side. So if you have problems on the sun, don't give up. The moon is way easier. All I did was I added some wavy lines and some I did closer to others just to give it some variety. And here I can go a little bit wider a little bit wider, maybe I want a shorter line. It just makes my drawing a little bit more interesting to have some variety. There we go. And so now I have my wavy lines on one side and my diagonal straight lines on the other. Now all you need to do after you have your sketch, all you need to do is separate your warm colors and your cool colors and then just go ahead and color the whole thing. Um, if you have problems with this or if you need my help or you're struggling with any of the lines, 
then send me a class dojo email or class dojo message or message me on our Google Classroom and I will help you out, okay? Um, but this is what your project is gonna look like. Please, please, please take a picture of it and send it to me on Google Classroom or on Class Dojo, okay? Make sure you're using that pencil and paper. I don't want you using a marker because if you do make a mistake, the marker is not going to erase, okay? All right, guys, good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.